Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R340 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on how to update your BIOS. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R340 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, this video is going to be specifically focused on how to update your BIOS. And all you're going to need for what we're going to do is a USB drive. Because the way that we're going to do it does not require an operating system. If you do have an operating system, what I would honestly recommend is two videos from now. We have a video showing how to do mass updates. And that's going to be updating your BIOS, your firmware, your onboard diagnostics diagnostics, your NIC card, your RAID card, plus a ton of other stuff. And so that's the, uh, the the way that I think you should go as far as doing your updates. But if you're in a quick pinch and you just need to update the BIOS and maybe you don't have an OS and uh, you're just getting rid of like an older system, uh, this is a way that, that you can do it. And all you're going to need, like I said, is a USB drive. And what we're going to show you is how to uh, download an EFI file uh, and essentially upload it onto uh, to your R340 and update the BIOS. So let's hop in. Let's show you step-by-step -step instructions on exactly how to do that. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your BIOS. So this is going to be a pretty easy, simple set of instructions. We're going to start out by downloading an EFI file from Dell's website. We're going to put this EFI file on a USB drive. Then we're going to move that USB drive and plug that into the server. And then from there, we can access the EFI file from the boot manager and run our BIOS update. So let's go ahead and get started is we want to go to Dell's website and on Dell's website we want to go to support and then support home and then where it says identify your product you want to go ahead and type in the name of our server. Once we've selected that we want to go over to the drivers and downloads tab and then here we want to set the operating system as not applicable and then now we want to change the category to BIOS. As you can see, there's one option left here. So we're going to click this drop down and then we're going to go to other formats. Now we want to click the download button that is across from EFI and this is going to download the EFI file. So it's a pretty quick download. Once it's done downloading, we want to go ahead and go to our file explorer. And we want to find where our file downloaded to, and then we want to drag it over to our USB drive on the left-hand side. And once we do that, that's going to copy the file in there, so we are all good to go to move this USB drive to our server, and then we can begin the BIOS update. So now that we've downloaded the BIOS EFI file from Dell's website and we've moved it to a USB drive, you want to go ahead and plug that USB drive into your server and then go ahead and power on your server and during post you want to press F11 and this is going to take us into the boot manager. So once in boot manager scroll down to system utilities and then you want to go down to BIOS update file explorer and here which displays our USB drive, so we want to do that. And then we want to select our EFI file. So once we've selected the file name, it'll give us this black screen here, so we just want to wait a couple of seconds. And then it'll pull up this screen, so we just want to click Continue BIOS Update. And at the very top, it'll show your current BIOS version, as well as the version that we are upgrading to. So like I said, just click Continue BIOS Update and then it'll give a second to load. So this part may take a little bit of time, so we're going to go ahead and fast forward. But basically our system is going to reboot into that BIOS update. And once we get to this screen right here, it'll say updating BIOS, and then it'll show the version that you're upgrading from, and then to the version that you're upgrading to. Um, and this part, you know, it'll, it'll take a little bit of time. So we're just gonna fast forward through this as well um, while our BIOS updates. So we can just sit back and relax. So once that is done, our system's gonna reboot again and we have successfully updated the BIOS. So if you found this video useful, go ahead and leave a like and smash the subscribe. And if you're interested in any Dell, Supermicro, HP servers, or even some custom AMD Ryzen servers, AMD Epics, Intel Scalables, go ahead and email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways guys, take care.